Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. We're playing Wanderers of Sorcery. We're on Chapter 5 and I have terrible news. Terrible news. Really only for myself. I did already play this. My microphone was muted. You know, I've been recording Outer Wilds without commentary. You should check that series out. Or you really should play that game if you haven't. It's truly a, a special gaming experience. Like one of the most unique and fulfilling experiences I've had in gaming for a long, long, long time. But you could also watch my series. But anyway, I did that without commentary. I really enjoyed making that uh, that series. I think you'd really like it if you gave it a shot. First half of the first video is a is the introduction, so there's a little more dialogue there. But like for the most part, uh, beyond that, it's all exploration and, and uncovering stuff. And anyway, that's neither here nor there. You should check it out. But my microphone is muted, so uh, I, I removed the button that was revealed for chapter six for immersion's sake. But there are achievements that I've already completed. On the plus side, I do know where all the Wanderer's journal pages are. Having regained confidence, Connor prepares a trap for Queen Arcadia's champions. Regained confidence, huh? Just just the, the trait we need in our Minister of War. You know, that's a good trait to have. Confidence, right? It's time we began. The soul which has left the body must be retrieved before we can continue. Once the ceremony is complete, I will use this gem to capture your soul. Then I will proceed with the next one. I'll keep going as long as I have to. Oh, resisting, huh? Or is it the pull of the afterlife calling? No matter. It will be long enough to do what I came to do. Look here. This is where the largest resistance cell is located. Our scouts report that the paladin and his groupies are hiding out here. The rumors say he's found a way to cure the plague. Oh, so this is the reason they're bringing out the army of the dead? Yes, our regular troops are still startled that we're using them at all. If this Hikaru guy really can cure the plague, we cannot allow, afford to allow our men to desert our ranks to join the resistance. According to the information we extracted from Raiko's sheepish mind, the resistance is holed up in a mountain fortress. Each pass into the fortress is secured by heavy elfwood gates, which are in turn protected by a line of catapults. From Reiko's sheepish mind, because she was turned into a sheep. I didn't catch that on my first time through. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny, okay? The mountains themselves, however, are not entirely impassable. The resistance is too confident in their stone walls. So if we set up ramps at key locations, we can blindside them. It is highly likely they will attempt to kill the engineers while the ramps are being set up, so we must be on our guard. Mizuki, I assume you can handle this? It sounds easy enough. Just what are we waiting for, anyway? Uh, this cutscene to end. That's what we're waiting for, Mizuki. We'll be unable to rely on air support for this battle. With the Zonda threat present at the capital, it was necessary to leave them behind to counter aerial raids. I see. Then we'll just have to do this without them, I suppose. Okay. So we've got Kana, who, uh... Seems like a pretty good hero. Her ultimate's really good here. I'm just gonna send him up here. Build the siege ramp on the Circle of Power in order to be in construction. Engineers may be trained at an altar of darkness. If Mizuki falls, she can be revived. So she's a demi-hero and she can summon beasts. Cone of Frost, sure. We have nothing that uses creature attacks at the start here, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna get our other upgrades instead. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop all of these. I'm going to get an obsidian statue, a couple meat wagons. And again, having played this, it's going to go a little faster, which is, it's a blessing. This is, it's a big map with like a lot of paths to take. So honestly, I think it's better that we just um, kind of get this show on the road now. And we're going the wrong way. Um, there are six Wanderers journal pages. These took me a long time to find the first time. So at least that'll be done. So, complete all mission objectives and normal difficulty. Okay, sure. 
Construct all siege ramps without losing an engineer on normal difficulty. So we build little... We actually build ramps into the enemy's bases, which is a cool idea I've never seen in another uh, campaign. I know, like, you can create and destroy bridges, but I don't think I've ever seen, like, terrain ramps just, like, straight up appear like this as part of a gameplay mechanic. And then quick kill, defeat all the heroes in less than 30 minutes. That's right, we are attacking and killing, quote-unquote, um, the four main normal people, I guess. I don't know if I'd even consider them normal. And then two undiscovered quests. All right. What is so the first thing I want to do is go for um, these Here I go. these Take things, whatever form. these are. So we're going to do that pretty quick. I wish and then I am also going to... I'm just going to spam some additional static defense. My fate is so we do a little, we do a little spamming. Not a lot, but we do a little spamming. Okay. And then we're going to steadily add to this group. So she's got cone of whatever, and then we can get both of these things out. Handy dandy. Oh, okay. Never mind. They're already here. Get out of there. Might have to pull ghouls to destroy the siege golem. My obsidian statue. Okay, I guess we'll send these ladies home. No. No, I just built him. I just built him. Did I? Oh, yeah, I queued up this too. Okay, well, that's gone. Ooh, ooh. Okay, who's up here? The enemy is quiet, a little too quiet. They must be up to something. I will not let you down. This ends now. Okay, we're back. Go ahead and repair me, please. Are you hitting them? Yeah, she's hitting them. Okay, great work. Send them back. So they're sending these uh, these shades. That's why I'm destroying those uh, those crystals. The sooner the better. And this is done now, so I can build um, abominations, please. Where shall my blood be and then temple. I will. And I think we just get another one of these soul spires when we can afford it. So we need more towers. And then you guys head on back up here. We're going to destroy this. And then we can take this base, and that'll allow us to really get going here. But we just need a little bit of defense before we can realistically get ready to move. But yeah, fast black citadel. It's a it was an aggressive strategy, but it worked. It's fine. Let's grab another acolyte because this one I'm gonna send up here. And here. We've got Kana Strike Force moving out here. That's great. And then you're just going to chill here and help us defend. And then you can go with my heroes to Strike Force Kana. My Lord, I cannot lose. Hit him with that lightning bolt. You're throwing a lightning bolt at him. Lightning bolt. I don't Dude, this campaign was pro it probably predates the lightning bolt meme. Isn't that crazy to think about? Annihilation War is awesome. It's actually awesome. We'll show this off over time here. It's just, it's just really good. It's just really good. You can trust me on that. Keep getting upgrades. And we got some abominations. Again, I just want to get rid of this stuff and set up my expansion, and then we can get serious about solidifying our defense and then going from there. Okay, follow Kana, please. It's wolves here. Let's use the Annihilation Ward on the wolves. Overkill, but... Anyway, it's pretty good. Nukes down heroes and stuff. We got a journal fragment. You love that. So, Kana, head on over here. And then, didn't I send a, an acolyte up here? Here he is. Where shall my blood be spilled? So we do this, and we do this. I will be done. Yeah, and we have more than enough defense here to handle this. I think we grab maybe one more obsidian statue. That actually might be overkill. 
Okay, so let's destroy this. This will stop all those shades from attacking us, and then we can go and build our first siege tower over there. So we have to build engineers in the first place to do that. You please come on back here. We're losing out on income. How you doing? Cone of Frost? No, no, you, you got Cone of Frost. She hurls a lightning bolt. That's pretty badass, honestly. And it's not just like... It's not just like a, a, a storm bolt. You know what I mean? It's literally throwing a, a bolt of lightning from the sky at someone. That's pretty neat. And it's not just the one where, like, it comes down and it zaps them once. It, like, flies across the sky. I don't know. It just seems really neat. Okay, give me a break. All right. Let's make two engineers. Get them up here. Let's get one more acolyte to repair. Get even more of these dudes. And then we have to build this stuff. So this is going fine. We'll grab unholy armor. The sooner we get to plus three, the better. Where shall my blood be spilled? Repair, please. Yes, master. And they're just they're taking their sweet time. Okay, great. So that's happening. We do have some crates here. Let's see what's in these. Boom, boom, boom. So the sooner we can start building these, the better. I mean, that's the only reason. I'm just kind of getting a move on here, because otherwise, there is an achievement to do this in 30 minutes. I'm not going to do that, because I have to get all the flipping Wanderer pages, and they're just all over the flipping place on this map. I don't love that. But that is something to consider. We also have a, a way gate here. There seems to be strange activity in the enemy camp. Keep your eyes peeled. Strange activity? Oh, no! Okay, come on over here. Set this up. Again, we don't want these guys to die, but in my experience, it doesn't seem like they actually send waves of enemies at you. Weirdly enough. I thought they would. They don't. So we built two of these guys. Get going. And I need to build a little Kana strike force and actually you know, be able to move around and accomplish things here. So I just want to finish up these melee upgrades. And then this needs I wish two more dudes. And we want to stay in low upkeep. Then we build abominations. You know how it goes. We're going to be up to plus three. I don't think we need any anti-air on this map. And it, it's not like we can build crit fiends. We're stuck. So I'm not even going to bother with the other upgrades, at least for now. But we can get necromancer upgrades, skeletal mastery, all that stuff. Okay, two of these guys, probably good enough. These do take quite a long time to build. It's not that long, but it's long enough to be slightly irritating. The question is, do we have enough static defense? We can just spam a little bit more. Something like this. Yeah, see, they kind of... They come from kind of across this whole thing. Oh, yeah, Black City looking at them from here, too. You love that? Okay, heal me, please. It's really these siege golems are the only things we have to be actually cognizant of. I would love... Just like one or two meat wagons, okay? We can, we can, we can, we can do this back here, okay? At least pull him into the... I, he's got fortified armor. He's basically a siege... Um, Siege tank, see, steam engine, siege engine. I don't know, man. Tomo Power will come and pick that up with Kana here pretty soon. Rendon Tear, that's what he says. That's just about done. Boom, boom. I don't even know, again, I don't even know if it's worth getting these, but that's fine, I will. I'm going to get an obsidian statue to leave at home as well. A siege ramp has been completed, and this is it's cool that it actually builds a little ramp. I think that's really neat. 
You surrounded rebels, now you'll pay for your crimes. Yada yada yada. Let's um Let's do some of this. And then get her ads out to help us. These spirit krakens are decent. They're not bad. Kinda like two little footmen, honestly. Maybe do more damage. So destroying this stuff, I think, opens the doors. My Lord. I'm not 100% on that, but I think that's what that does. Okay, let's bring everyone in. And you're going to stay here and heal. I don't think Ghoul Frenzy is really necessary. We want to, again, get another one of these Soul Spires. Okay, let's go. Here I go. I cannot lose my lord. Eggs, we got a journal fragment. You love it. Break all of this crap. Boom, 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 boom. You are a warrior. I can respect. Mana stone. Okay. I don't think that's what that was when I came through here the first time, so I'm grateful for that. That's a better item. Here I go. And Kana seems like the person we want to keep leveled up, so we're gonna drop our annihilation thing here. Here I go. They love going for my uh For my siege, my siege uh, weaponry in the back, that's for sure. And you know what? You can you can do that all you want. It's not... No skin off my nose, okay? Yes, perfect. Perfect! Okay, this stuff's coming up. Let's get some more of these dudes. That should be more than enough to leave at home. And then everything else is going into my offense. Which is really just going to be more abominations. My abomination! Oh gosh, not these guys. <laughs> I see they're gathering up their forces to prepare one huge attack. I won't let that happen. I'll reverse your little ploy. So we've got 30 minutes before they send a big attack. Which is kind of like, alright, fine. Take heart from my performance. Here I go. Here I go. Okay, very exciting. You guys get over here and defend me because this is a pretty big attack. Is your ultimate up yet? No, it's not. Onwards for Narub. We've come to offer, offer our services to Arcadia. Crypt fiends can now be trained at the crypt. Okay. So we got this guy now. Get added to Kana Strike Force, please. What I'd like to do is break all this stuff so that we can meet up here. I wish are they going to make it? Nope. Shut up, Kana. We already got the achievement, you stupid idiot. Literally, who asked? Okay, come on over here and we'll build a couple more for later. Again, we want to. We got to add to Kana Strike Force here so we can actually get this show on the road a little bit, okay? So we break this stuff. I don't know why I'm destroying all this stuff, to be honest. Is, is this open? Here? I thought this... Yes. Okay, great. So now we can get through a little bit faster. My Lord. Research complete. I cannot lose. We can, oh, we can get through here. Is it really as simple as just walking in? No, that's closed. Okay. That's fine. So now we take this group, and we're going to head to the left. This should be open now. And now the top part of the map is legitimately is legitimately open to us. Thank goodness. We're making some more of these dudes because we want to... I don't know. Build towers? Okay, so let's uh, head over to the left because there's a lot over here to get and explore and all sorts of stuff. Um, there's a whole area up here, too, that connects. Um, we can kind of start from over here and make our way over there eventually. So... They love my obsidian statue. Scroll of the Beast. Do I want to pick this up? Sure. You are a warrior I can respect. This better. Okay, Necromancer, lead the way. I think this is where the opening cutscene was, by the way. Alright, so let's head on up here. 
take heart from my performance. I cannot lose. Journal fragment. That's what you love to see. We're going to level up Volt Wave just because it's sick. This guy starts with no usable abilities except summoning beetles. Not really my ideal, but that's fine. And let's go ahead and kind of clean up this top area. Uh, we did also open up a way gate to attack one of the enemy heroes. But that's okay. We're not going to use that right now. I don't think there's anything up here. So we're just going to skip that. Here I go. And I think there's a wanderer page over here. Yeah, this is very out of the way. Look out, buddy. What is happening here? Volt wave! Yes! And then Cone of Frost, which is kind of pathetic looking, but pick this up. Four of six. Yes, yes, yes. Tome of Intelligence, Kana, that's you. We need you to be more confident. I don't know if the Tome of Intelligence is what's getting you there, but that's that's what we need, so. Hang in there, girl. All right. What's going on? <laughs> my engineers. Okay. I need to do a better job protecting my engineers. Take All, All right. Let's come down here. Here I go. Take heart from my performance. We did all this, right? So let's... Here I go. I'm just trying to decide what the best way to get to. There's also, like, these weird things that block your units from being able to move when you come over in this direction. So I'm not too keen on going in that direction right now. Let's just get some more units. I wish only to serve. And my engineers are dead. So we need to build more of those anyway. What is happening here? Take heart from my performance. Okay, Kana Strike Force, we got some wolves. I will not let you down. Just, you know, why? Anytime I see something like this, especially because they're not gonna drop anything. Just watch, they won't. Yeah, I mean I guess some money, but that to me is an indication like, hey, this map didn't need to be this big. But pro probably what's most likely is the map was created and then it's like, oops. I didn't need to, this much space, but the thought of recreating it is obviously, like, way too much. So, uh, we got another circle here. This looks exciting. Let's see if there's something up here. What do we need? We only need two more Wanderer journals, right? Okay, don't worry about that. Then we're not going to go that way. We're going to come down here. So the idea is we're gonna be built. We're building a small army so that we can just take our engineers and go and build this one. Go ahead and get started, buddy. Yeah, these weird windmill things. We want to destroy these because you can't pass going from that direction. So we went around. This is the kind of thing where just because I I played it, I know, thankfully. Okay, so come on down here. What we do. And we send a few units, and we can build a few more units. The windmill shouldn't bother us anymore. Great, so now we can walk through this. So a lot of this is like... Door is locked from the other side type situation. Which I generally like, but, you know, in some cases is a little... It's a, it can be a little annoying. It's it's okay here. It's just the map is a little too big for its own good, which I think unfortunately happens more it happens frequently. Not not I don't mean like in this campaign specifically, I mean like literally in a general sense. All right, come on. Kind of strike force, how you doing? Oh baby. Okay, here and here. That's being built, and we got some units here ready to go. What is happening here? My lord. What does the shadow will? So let's head on over here and get ready to attack the bottom base. Now that that's going to be open to us, destroy this. 
We only need one more Wanderer's Journal. I'm surprised the other two quests haven't become available to us yet. I'm actually really surprised the other two quests haven't become available to us yet. I would have expected that by now. And then this base can be a little challenging because you could get stuck on a big ramp, which I don't love. Let's bring these dudes with us. Meat wagons will be helpful once we get in there. I want you guys just walk over here and build this for later. My lord. Okay, get the heroes in the front up this ramp. What is happening here? I cannot lose. The big boy Nerubian too. He's a real fat boy. He uh, he can get stuck very easily, as you can see. Beetles. This guy. Get these guys out of the way. Let let the big man through. You are a warrior. I can respect. Okay, then we bring the abominations. Just not not the range stuff. The range stuff is just going to get stuck up here. Take heart from my performance. I cannot lose. So this actually connects to the middle section. Not what you'd expect. Wah -wah. Okay, go ahead and just attack, attack, everybody attack. Then we can move in with everybody else. You are a warrior I can respect. Here I go. I have no need for your concern. Take heart from my performance. I don't think these groups rebuild or anything, so. Kana's gonna do her best. She's gonna throw out an annihilation thing. Take heart from my performance. And that's gonna really blast him. You don't stand a chance against my power. You underestimate my power. Okay, Necro's in here too. He's gonna get dusted. Don't worry about it. Just keep throwing down healing ward. God, it's so good. That annihilation thing is so flipping good. Who's it hitting? It's hitting Necro. Perfect. Perfect. This is a scroll of the beast situation. Yes, get him. Yes. Damn, this doesn't look good. We have to send for help. Seems they're preparing to dispatch a runner. He's heading for this location. Don't allow him to escape. Okay, this is one. He's like right there. We have to destroy this stuff so we can open the gate and chase him before it's too late. So you all move in. And just chase this guy down. I think Kana can get him. Yes. Yes. This ends now. Okay, meanwhile, my units are in here. They're doing the Lord's work. This guy can just keep attacking. This was built. The runner is dead. My Lord. Here I go. And we're looking for another I have no need tome, right? Let's head on over here because there's another way gate, which allows us to get back to our base, by the way. I wish only. Oh no, not these guys. Just cancel that. And then we'll build more. The enemy attacks are spawned from off the map, but that's not obvious. What is happening here? I have no need for your concern. Take heart from my performance. Our forces are under attack. You are a warrior. I okay. Kana strike force. I guess we're killing wolves again. We're back to killing wolves. I have no need for your concern. What needs I guess they're just chilling. It's possible they'll spawn in response to us building the tower itself. So that's that's my fault. That's my fault. Ah! Duck and weave, meat wagon. Okay, cool. Let's get these guys up here too. Wolves gone. I cannot lose. Here I go. More wolves. Heal yourself. And we're pretty close to being done. We do have to actually kill the enemy heroes. Look at my laziness minister. We've arrived to give aid. So Lord Darkscythe is here because we did something. 
Um, why is he here? He's here because we didn't kill him back in an earlier mission when we were playing as the other faction. That's why. Let's head on over here. We can do this quest. Yes, we can please. Oh, no, I guess we'll take Locust Swarm. I mean, this poor man needs Impale, but... We got Ayame. This way gate appears to be the twin of the gate in your camp. The resistance deactivated the gate to prevent a back attack, removing a special crystal part which can activate the gate. Who doesn't love a good back attack, though? Down. Let's be honest. And then they want us to kill some wizard down here, so let's go and do that. Peril Spellbinder. Cancel that. All right. Um... Send these guys down here. Dude, hit him with the lightning. Okay, and then we return to What's-Her-Name, and that activates the portal, which, you know, we need but don't need. There's also a little um, gold mine up here. That's very exciting. Where is the last... Here's a question. Where's the last Wanderer's Journal? Because I don't remember now. It's possible. Oh yeah, now we can use her. It's maybe up here by the gold mine. I hope. Okay, that thing's gonna die. So you guys, please come over here and build this, please. You you can you can you can attack these guys. You're allowed. Yes, there it is. So what can you do? Oh, Bloodlust, turn people into sheep. Firebolt is, is good. Grab this. Okay, all the Wanderer's Journals obtained. We are good to proceed. I like that Lord Darkscythe is usable. I think that's a neat idea. Okay, good, they're almost here. And we actually have to kill the enemy heroes, by the way. We've killed two of them? Yes, there's because there's two left. So we've got Lady, and we've got Dude. Um, we've got Mask Lady, and we've got um, Hikaru. Um, we've killed Nekuro and J, J guy? Jo Jonah? J? Um, yeah. So... Nice. That opens up another bit of a shortcut. Again, door opens from the other side. I do like a good door opens from the other side mechanic. What I also like is... I can't use both of those at the same time. So Hikaru is actually through this way gate. I'm gonna go kill Lady first. Hikaru seems appropriate to save for the last one, right? So we just gotta wait for this to finish. and We've got Strike Force, Hero Strike Force, Teens, plus a large bug, plus an, uh, a floating suit of armor. It's the, you know, the weirdest dream team you've ever seen. What does the shadow do? I also could... Does this open now that all this is destroyed? No, that would be too easy. You all head on over here so that we can prepare to walk through this gate. Tome of Power. Can, can somebody that I have even used that at this point? Please. <laughs> I should have built my, more of these guys. I tried, but then I was supply blocked. So that's going to let me in here. It's sort of unclear to me where these enemy units even come from. I'm not sure if they're through the way gate, which is over here. But maybe there's another way gate that that attacks through it that's connected to it. That's possible. Anyway, this guy who does siege damage is attacking a skeletal mage, so I think we're okay. We've outsmarted the AI today, folks. Great. Ramp? There it goes. Very cool idea. All right, just go. go. And you all can just go. 
and you all can just go, and everything's gonna be fine. I think we save Annihilation Ward for the bosses, even though it's not like the bosses are gonna be particularly difficult, but... I do really like that Dark Side shows up here. I think that's a neat little thing. It's possible that um, that means he's going to be an enemy that we're going to have to kill at some point in the future. Good death coil. Okay, and then we can open that door as well. Um, let's come on. Yeah, you know, we can open the door with our other units. Hero Squad, head on over here so we can go through the gate. I do like the flamethrowers. That's cool as heck. See, she shoots a firebolt. That's not nearly as exciting as this. Just, just go through here and let's get this over with. You guys, come on down here and just attack through all this to open the thing. We have about nine minutes until the resistance army shows up. My understanding is that doesn't actually cause anything bad to happen. It's just they spawn a big army. This happened to me on my first playthrough, and frankly, it, 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 nothing seemed to happen. Okay, that gate is open. You all attack your way down here now. And attack your way down here. Meanwhile, this group... Dude, he's huge. This isn't the same hero as the as the first bug hero we had, though, right? That was a different... That's a different bug. Okay, we got Miranda here. Take this. Get annihilated. Oh! Oh! And then, they, yeah, they all teleport away. You don't actually kill them here. Um... Maybe if there was one that, like, you don't fight them all, but you just fight one of them and you actually kill them would have been pretty... pretty solid. But alas, we, it was not fated to be. You all can come on through here and let's go kill Hikaru. I don't think there's anything else we need to be doing. This might be enough units to kill him by themselves without my heroes. It's possible. I don't know if my hero squad will be able to properly path their way there. Um, because they have to get through here, which is closed, right? What? Was this one closed the whole time, or...? I'm not actually sure what happened. Yeah, see, I think they have to go, like, all the way around. Well, we destroyed the entire resistance base. Is this enough to kill this guy? Kill his healing first. I mean, he can heal himself and he can bubble. Earthquake's not doing anything, right? So I think... It's, it's possible this should be enough to get him. He's level 6. Dude can cure the plague, but he can't kill... He can't kill this many units. I don't think. Nah. Oh my god, I thought they were going to path through the way gate. That would have been insane AI. Okay, he's going to holy light himself, but I think we can nuke through it faster than he can heal. He'll get probably, yeah, one more heal. Mayo, I don't know, that's... He'll probably get several off. If he used it offensively, we'd be in trouble. One more heal. I think we... Oh! <laughs> you coward. Okay, we're sending him through. We're sending him through. Don't worry, big bug man's coming. Ripperino Hikaru. No, no, hit this guy. Dude, get vaulted. And you know what? Hit him with this. Yes. Yes. Annihilation Ward. We got all the pages, right? Yes, we did. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. I had to play this twice. It's you know, It happens sometimes. It was my mistake. I can't complain. I mean, I can complain, but I can't blame anybody but myself. Damn those Arcadians. We'll have to regroup elsewhere. Don't worry about it. We'll just have to be more careful next time.
Prime Minister, we've routed the rebels and took many of them prisoner. However, Hikaru has fled along with the cure. I see. Then there's little hope for my recovery in this state. He's sick too? Sir, don't say that. If Hikaru find a cure, then we can as well. Allow me the honor of looking for this cure for you. That will not be necessary. Both of you return to the castle at once. The Zande are preparing to return for another strike. I see, then there's nothing to do about it now. Not quite, my dear Minister of War. Not quite yet. Someone in a previous video tried to explain why the cliché, the anime cliché of the, the student body government somehow having the most power of anything in anime. Um, they explain how they're like, well, in Japanese schools, the students are taught to clean up and they, they, they don't need janitors. They don't need custodians because the students clean everything. I'm like, yes, I know in Japanese culture and many Asian cultures, um, there's just a much more sense of uh, communal cleanliness. And I, like, I get that, but that doesn't explain why there's like the government of the nation and like these super high powers and it's like we have to contend with the student government they have so much consolidated power like it's just look i don't not like this campaign i just i feel like i'm we're far enough into it i'm gonna finish it but like the the motivation is just not there because i can't take it seriously i can't this is kind of the problem i've always had with anime like i want to be able to like enjoy it for what it is which probably means, like, tongue-in-cheek, like, hee-hee. But I think the problem is there's just such a mismatch in how something like this... I don't want to just say anime in a general sense. I know that's wrong. But, like, something like this takes itself seriously. And I just... So, by that, I, like, I, I can't. I just can't take that... I can't take it seriously if it demands it takes itself so seriously when it's just this... This stupid, straight up. Like, it is. Like, you have a, a girl with, like, whips, and she's, like, the minister of... You have a cat girl who's the minister of commerce, and you've got the girl with the whips who builds machines, and, and the minister of war who needs to work on her confidence, and they're all teens, and they're all young girls, which is weird. Like, I guess there's Ziel, who's a dude, sure. It just... I don't know. It all just kind of rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> But but even still, again, if it was all, like, purposefully silly, then that would be one thing. But it just, the way that a lot of these anime tropes are presented are in a way that's, they, they want to be taken seriously as if they are somehow reflective of something in real life. Even if it's just metaphorical, but it's not. It doesn't, it doesn't. And it, it, it doesn't map onto anything. And... I struggle to formulate a world that I can take seriously with these elements in them. Unfortunately. I'm trying. I'm trying. Again, this is very old, and this is... You can't really say that this is anime because it's fan fiction, right? It's made by a person who made maps in StarCraft and WarCraft. Especially when they were younger, that's fine. So I can't be like, oh, the, I didn't like Wanderers of Sorceria, therefore JoJo's Bizarre Adventure must be really stupid. Like... I, I get it. You can't make that kind of stretch. But I'm just explaining. I, I said this from from episode one. It's why I'm taking the time in the outro to talk about it now. Because I'm looking for someone to explain it in a way that makes the light bulb go on. And I think maybe it's been years and I can just accept that maybe the light bulb just isn't there for me. <laughs> so it's never going to go on. There, there's something wrong with the circuitry and, and the wires are crossed and they're never going to work. I don't know. But in any case, we're going to have fun. We're going to play through the rest of this campaign. I think, I don't know how many missions there are left, but we are over halfway for sure. And then we're going to move on to something like Troll Campaign or um, the new Malfurion's Quest missions years and years later. So people, all those people that have asked me over the years about the Sentinel's Path, their dreams can come true after my channel's been winding down lately. But it's here. Okay, that's it. That's the outro. Thanks, thanks everybody. I, I don't know, does this, am I like a Debbie Downer? I'm not trying to be like super negative like, 
mer, mer, mer. I just, I'm just curious. Like, I want to be inquisitive about it. And that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to figure out, like, how do I get it? There's, like, a perspective that I'm missing, and I, I got to understand it. I have to. It's there. I don't, I, I don't get it, and I want to. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.